honest to God, this is what happened to me in the last two months. I was asked by a vaccine manufacturer to help them build a simulation model of their internal logistics. People moving around in the warehouse, they had very tight spaces and problems with uh, the logistics and basically want to avoid traffic jams and slow movement. Fair. Well, then, just a few weeks later, a big electric car manufacturer asked me to help model their uh, actual building plant, the, the entire plant, because they're ramping up production massively and they are fearing that they will also have a lot of traffic inside their plant. You know, things being moved around, lots of traffic jams, stuff like that. So what do you do when two clients with you know completely different industries basically have the same problem? A problem that is not actually easily be solvable directly with any logic. You build an example model and share it with the community. And this is what this uh, video series is about. So my name is Benjamin Schumann and I'm an AnyLogic modeler, done this for over 10 years. And in this video series, I want to show you something new. Now, typically uh, with models like that, what you do is you use an AnyLogic network and make agents move from A to B. But this leaves a lot to be desired. For example, normal AnyLogic networks, you cannot interact with them. You can't click on things in an AnyLogic network. You can't measure utilization of parts of the network. So if I'm telling an agent, you know, move through a network and say, how much is this path being used? Basically impossible. The second thing is, you have no control over the root finding. It does root finding, but it's always shortest path, and it's very hard to change that. It's basically a black box. We don't like black boxes. So any logic, as usual, gives you the ability to do whatever you like. And this is a tutorial showing you how to turn your network into an agent-based representation. So each part of the network is actually an agent, interactive. You can lock things for it. You can do with it whatever you like. Plus, we will also use our own pathfinding library and translate our network into what's called a graph. So we have full control over the pathfinding and we have full control over editing our network at runtime, do whatever we like with it. Um, for example, clothing paths, changing the weight of things, making things unidirectional, bidirectional. Essentially, we only use an AnyLogic network once at the very start of the model and then never again because we turn it into agents and we use our own root finding library. So this video series is about seven parts to it. It's a bit longer than usual. It's a bit more involved than usual. Uh, it does require a fair bit of any logic and Java knowledge, but if you are an advanced user, you should be able to follow. And I think it's a great base case. Feel free to use this model whenever you need, you have the need of using networks and root finding. It's a very good starting point, giving you full flexibility of taking KPIs and using your own custom root finding and basically free yourself from the limitations of normal networks. Any questions, reach out to me um, and I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks a lot.